heading into the playoffs, this is the time of year we like to, you know, make predictions and we look at the matchups and who's going to win and is it going to be in four, six, seven. What do you make of people just saying, no, no, the Boston Bruins, much much better team. They're just going to take care of business against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't know if that's kind of stuff that you guys discuss in the room, but when you hear that kind of chatter, I mean, how, how does it get digested with the team? Well, I know for myself, um, I think even just coming into the situation this year uh, and the amount of tension we have around the team, I think worrying and listening about all the noise that goes around, uh, you know, takes your attention uh, and uh, your energy away from, I think, what really matters most, and that's just in your preparation and stepping out on the ice and go out there applying and trying to execute as best you can. Um, I think we have a lot of belief in our group. We know we have a really good hockey team, a really talented hockey team, uh, and we're really excited about our opportunity. Uh, to get to where you want to get to, you got to play against some of the best players and beat some of the best teams in the world. So um, this is a, a great challenge, and I think you just have to be excited about what's ahead of us and what the opportunity is. Uh, and everything else that kind of goes on around you is stuff that's out of your control and doesn't really truly have an impact on what's, uh, what's important in the series. You've been an opponent of Patrice Bergeron for a long time, and you've been a teammate of his at, at other limited times. What is it that he brings to the table that makes him so special? Well, I, uh, I've played with him twice, and uh, we were actually line mates uh, for a couple games at the Olympics uh, back in 14. And uh, I always tell people he's one of the easiest players I've ever played with. He just always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Uh, whether that's just being uh, good defensively uh, or offensively, just uh, he always seems to be a, an outlet or he's always kind of above uh, the opponent causing a turnover uh, and then uh, making a play going the other way uh, uh, that leads uh, to uh, a good transition game or uh, play with the puck offensively. Uh, he's just got such a great mind for the game and he's very responsible. Uh, he's very patient. Uh, he doesn't deviate from the way he plays. So I think... Uh, um, you know, that, that really is a, a, an elite attribute that he has. He really does that better than anybody else. So um, it's a great challenge, uh, and that's why he's had a lot of success in his career. So uh, obviously someone we have to be very aware of and have to make it very tough on. John, before we let you go, I mean, obviously it's a career year for you, putting up 47 goals. And, you know, we always like to kind of look at, well, what contributed to that and, and what kind of made it a successful season? Uh, I go along the lines of you got married. I'm giving all the credit to your wife, um, as I should. Uh, but a lot of people are going to say, hey, how about that uh, line mate of yours, uh, Mitch Marner? And also, you know, Zach Hyman on the left. What has it been like? Because you guys have been the most consistent line, like right out of the gate. It's been the three of you since the start of the season. How have the three of you clicked? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, when you have success, uh, especially uh, in this game and in this league, uh, it's very difficult to uh, to do things uh, by yourself. And, um, you know, when you're playing with guys like Zach and Mitch, they make the game so much easier. Uh, and certainly the type of team that we have, uh, whether it's been on the power play or just uh, the depth that we have, and you get good matchups because uh, uh, we, we, we're a hard team to match up against. Um you know they make the game uh, they make the game easier for you. So, uh, and I just tried to come in and be myself. I didn't try to worry about a whole lot or try to do a whole lot of different things. I just tried to come in, uh, try to understand the system and the way we wanted to play, and get to know the guys I'm playing with as best I can, and kind of just work off that, and, and obviously trust my ability uh, and have a lot of confidence in the way that I can play the game. So, uh, been a lot of fun playing with those guys, uh, and, and I'm excited because I, I I really like I said I think. Uh, I really feel like this whole year has been a transition for me um, and just learning a lot about myself uh, and adapting uh, uh, into a new team, a new system, uh, a new environment, uh, only continue to try to continue to get better and uh, find ways uh, how we can uh, continue to be productive and be hard to play against. So, um, yeah, it's been uh, uh, a lot of fun playing with those guys. They've certainly made me a better player.